Hello and welcome back to another Total War Warhammer 2 gameplay video. We're playing as Tyrion today. I think this is episode 8. Is it 8? I'm not sure what episode it is. I think it's episode 8. And I'm very sorry for the delay that it's been between this video and the last video. Um, you know, real life stuff, just catching up to you. I say real life stuff. It's just work. Working in the way, but I work a lot of overtime sometimes and uh, that's how it is. But anyway... I won't waste any more time, uh, so let's get right into it. Um, so last time we left off, there is glory to be won. we were sieging Vault Anvil. Attack. I'm not sure if I was about to attack it or if I just zoomed into the attack there just to save it. So let's just take stock of things, because things were going really well, if I remember. Like, ridiculously well. We had pretty much taken all of Ulthawan. one. Kothik still exists, but that's only because they're friendly with us. We did have a war with them initially, but they like us a lot now. Um, we have the Shrine of Cain, which is now doing okay for public order. Uh, and Alariel is rushing to the Whitefire Tor to stop that from rebelling. And let's just check who we're at war with. It's been a while since I've played, so I just need to catch up with what I'm doing. We're at war with Servants of Chaos, Var, Kalidor, and Warriors of Chaos. The Varg? So no one close to us. So we're, we're really in a good, strong position with no one at war with us. Um, Seal. It would be good to take Vol's Anvil this turn, if we can. It's not that impressive an army. We do have a lot of archers. We really, really outgun them. This this looks doable. Even in death we serve Altuan. I think though it wouldn't be a bad idea just to build these towers. There's nothing. There's nothing making us rush, right? So let's just do it. Let's just build the towers. I don't think there's any rush. Order crumbles beneath me. That's a bit dire. <laughs> Order crumbles beneath me. Oh dear, sorry about that. Um, what are we building here? The pro yeah, the problem we have at the moment is we can't get enough gold to build all the things we need to build. Uh, Angirial will build the orchards, I guess. Let's just take the public order. Just take stock of the public order in all these areas. Minus three here, minus three here. Goodness me. Not not a happy time for most of Alta One. Minus nine in Torah Care. Which is not good at all. Goes down to minus three if we untax it, which I think we will, since it pretty much provides no gold whatsoever. Um We really want to grow that to level 3 so we can get a gate on it. <clears throat> Once we've got a gate, I'm much less scared of rebellions, of course. The people are rested. Although 15-man garrison still isn't that impressive. Although that is that is the type of garrison you want. <laughs> Make no mistake. Um, okay. I'm going to pass the turn here and just see what the state of things is after that. She recruit why she got 90 men. Is she missing an agent? Perhaps. Not sure. Gain Veil. Minus one. So public order. We need to get a handle on it everywhere, really, by the looks of things. There's not there's not many places where it's not an issue. Taurus of Thigh. Probably delete those buildings soon. I could just delete them now. I'm gonna delete them now. There's no need for them. Give us a bit of extra gold to build things next turn. And diplomacy. Who are we trading with? Who are we not trading with? And, and if we're not trading with them, why? Probably because they're saying no, right? Yeah. Degans, Erentri. Okay. Fair enough. We have an agent here. Oh, this is our lord. She's just going to chill there. So we have two lords here, right? This was so that we could get uh, some merchant lord and then just delete them. So. Yes, we'll pass a turn there. What Sorry, little brain fart there. I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, I'm never quite sure, but... <laughs> Ah yes, and we have our agents out at sea trying to meet as many nations as they can so that we can get as many trade agreements as we can. So 
Surprised the Dark Elves haven't declared war on us yet. Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> Not that I want them to declare war on me, of course. I still can't believe how early in the game we are. We've just taken over the whole of Ulthawan One with pretty much no resistance. I mean, we've, we've won some good battles, we've played well, but also Alariel doing a lot of the work for us and then just deciding she would confederate was just ridiculous. Uh, no, thank you. Defensive Alliance is going to be far more beneficial for you than for me. Again, no. Um, they're just going to get us in wars. I, I don't think I'll ever... There's very few people that I'll ever accept a defensive alliance for because it's never going to benefit me. It's never going to benefit me. What do you wish to discuss? Non-aggression pact for 200 gold. Sure. That works fine for me. Yeah, unless I'm seeking to confederate with them, I, I pretty much never do defensive alliances. Or indeed military alliances these days. Unless they're really powerful and it's going to benefit me to have them in the war. It is our hour of need. Oh dear. Illyrian is going to rebel. Torilir, the capital, is going to rebel. Thankfully, Alariel is going to reach it. Light of Avalon. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Crisis averted. Order must be maintained. I don't know how we managed to get Shrine of Cain to level to to a positive public order. That's quite impressive in itself. Um, let's just really go for it. Let's just build the colonnade, shall we? I mean, well, that's positive. There's probably better things we can do in the meantime. Fasten down. Toran Rock, for example. Could do with that being level 3. Let's just save that gold, unless it's directly affecting public order at the moment. I'm not really interested. So yes, we'll build a plaza here. That's fine. Angriel's fine. Oh, we could upgrade the docks. That is so tempting. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm upgrading the docks. <laughs> I can't resist. It's money, money, money. All over. I'm such a money whore. I love the money. <laughs> Anything for the money. Let's hear it. By Asurian. Let's see how we're doing. So we have two of these, which means four in total. Uh, if we wait one more turn, we'll have eight. Plenty enough for all our troops. So let's just wait one more turn. Battle. I am absolutely fine with waiting one more turn. Where now? Yep, skip that. So we wait one more turn, then we will have literally a tower for every single unit, which is which is awesome, really. Ooh, we discovered Sartosa. I doubt they'll want to be trading partners, but I could be wrong. <laughs> but I don't think they're going to want to trade with the likes of us. We encountered the Border Princes. They might want to trade with us, though. In fact, I reckon they really will want to trade with us. That's a good That's a good faction to encounter. I'd really like to encounter the Dwarfs as well. Hopefully they've confederated with Barak Var and are doing well. Um, I hate when the Orcs do well. Let's pray for the Dwarfs. Pray for Thorgrim to lead his people well so that we get an awesome trade agreement with him and all his diamonds and gems and gold that he has. Greetings. The Phoenix Court will hear your words. What do you want, Luen? Nope. No chance, mate. Although he is doing very well. But what 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 would that what purpose would that serve, you know what I mean? That military alliance would just get us embroiled in wars with the Norskins. Now the Norskins might come and attack us. I'm definitely not going to Norska. You know? So it's it's just one way street, right? It's just a one way street. <laughs> Do 
Diplomacy has failed between Hochland and the Warriors of Chaos. How were they not at war already? That's what I want to know. Clear skies. Your forces are benefiting from a protracted period of good weather. Very nice. Everyone's happy. Happy days. I'm happy for them. Right, Border Princes. Let's have a chat. We may not be the Empire, but our realm has riches and strength. Well, it doesn't really matter to me if you have realm of riches and strength in equal measure if you're not going to share them with me, mate. So, what's the point in that? Greetings. We may not be the Empire. Now let's offer him a small gift. No, okay. Maybe we'll use our influence. Let's see what a trade agreement would be worth with some of these people that aren't trading with us. Hang on. Do that. Who's most likely to trade? So the trade border princes would be worth 189, 183, 181. Leoness, you've got to be getting there, right? It might be worth just giving you a little nudge. Let's just add a little gift. Really, dude? Come on. You're being silly. Okay, you, you are just a knob. You're an actual knob. Silly Frenchman! Does not know what he's good for him. Um, we could spend some of that powerful influence points we have to improve our relations that way. Where are they? Border princes. How much that cost? Let's try a little bit. Eleven for them, and then Leoness. Let's spend a little bit there. Where are they? Why is this not an alphabetical order? There we go. And then who else is there? There's Thagan's Errantry. 14. You know what? Do it. 25 increase. Good stuff. Who's the other one? I can't remember. Uh, oh, yes. The Tux... Tlaxtlan. 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 <laughs> oh, goodness me. You're not worth it. Let's go back to the board of princes and just do them one more time. There we go. Right. Hopefully that gets us a few more trade agreements, right? That would be nice. Crace, let's upgrade Torah Care. Definitely. Alariel, come under that stance so that we just get a bit more gold. Oh, I don't like that. Look at Ravina just hanging around. Not a fan. Tyrion. We're definitely ready for this. I am ready to fight. He is ready to fight, and so am I. Let's do it. Won't be much work for the cavalry on this attack. That's a really cool little feature. Look at that. This dip here. This impenetrable dip. So the wall is quite short. They put a lot of work into the High Elves. They really did. Really, really awesome race. How cool would that be? Putting archers up here. <laughs> I mean, so brokenly overpowered if you had like archers over here and here that you just couldn't even get to, but still. <laughs> That's your, if you were a general, right, you're definitely having lots of archers up here shooting down where they can't be shot back at. That's amazing. Right, look at this. Talking about glorious. Put that down, put that down. Uh, you get in this tower instead. Okay. No one's going through the gates. Everyone's going up on the walls. What walls, you ask? Good question. I'm not sure. Probably these ones. Just so we can get everyone together. So let's do this. Nope, that's not good. That's better, right? We can put two. Spearmen 
two there. There we go. One here. One here. Two here. That's not good at all. There. Get our archers out of the way. That would probably help, wouldn't it? And we've left a battering ram in the way. That's what's not that's what's blocking us. Who left this battering ram here? It will be done. White lion. Understood. Let's keep our cavalry right at the back. And Tyrion, either are you on a horse? You are on a horse, so you'll be going smashing the gate down. You can take the silver helms with you. Go for the gate. Tyra's going to go up with the white lions of Crace. Chariots are just going to be not far behind it, Tyrion and uh, the silver helms. And that's a glorious looking high elf army. Isn't it just fabulous? Don't they just look spiffy? <laughs> Okay, let's waste no time. Let's do this. We are on the move. Uh, that's probably far too close. Let's get nice and long. Let's send Tyrion and his horses. And we'll send the chariots too. And then... Our two lords, let's bring them over here as well. Rapid advance! Rapid advance. Our archers are moving into position. I think they're a little bit far away there. Let's just move them a little bit more, but let the towers go first so that they're taking the brunt of the tower fire. The amount of casualties that are prevented by these towers is absolutely incredible. Can they fire? Who can't fire? Two people on the right hand side cannot fire. Let's do that then. Let's have you lot fire on these archers with heavy arrowheads. You two on these. Lutheran Seaguard. And Lutheran Seaguard. That seems fine. Who are you firing at? That works fine. And on these spearmen at the back. Okay, we are definitely going to start losing a lot of archers as soon as we get these towers into position. Fire at these Lothar and Sea Guards. Who are you firing at? Fire at the White Lions of Crace on the back instead. Oh my god. It is not a nice day to be an archer when there's high elf towers firing at you. Hopefully we'll take those towers relatively quickly. Let's get up here, lads. Get up those walls. Get up those walls. Oh, they've got artillery. Is that two units of artillery? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're sending the White Lions of Crace to take care of them. Did we break down the wall yet? No, of course it's SFO. It takes ages. Absolutely ages. I didn't think about that. I might have considered. Uh, I might have considered doing something about it. Otherwise, right, lads, archers, get over here. I don't want them standing taking all this, this fire. It's unnecessary now that we've got our men on the walls. Go up that one. Actually, go up this one. Oh shit! That's stupid. Get on these Eagle Claw bolt throwers, guys. I know it's not great, but it's far better than the alternative, which is to let them fire at our men on the walls. That's no good whatsoever. 
Let's get up these towers. So their their towers can't hit us anymore. You guys are getting annihilated, so no. I'll tell you what, we should have taken that. Uh, in fact, we will. We'll get, as soon as these towers get these archers get in, we'll take some more of those. Um, you know what? You guys just retreat. Get off the map. Save yourselves. Save yourselves. How are we doing, lads? It looks like we're doing well. It shall be done. Please take this so we can get the cavalry in. Because I think they're actually going to be better to just come over here still. Uh, let's put you on three. And get you all around here. And this gate's going to be ours in a second. Keep fighting on the walls! Our spearmen are doing an excellent job there. And it's a bit of a mixed bag. We've got some people really fighting on well, and other people are really struggling. But in general, I think we're taking this wall quite comfortably. And speaking of in general, our general is ready to come in. Perfect. And we've won this part of the wall completely. Let's move in. How did our white lions get on? Are they dead? They are dead. Not good for them. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that they're not dead, but rather have retreated off the map, which is fine. They've done their job, which is to stop the uh, the eagle bolt throwers firing. And I imagine that, yeah, they're okay. There's 10 of them left. I think that unit will survive. That's all that really matters. Lakoi! Lakoi! Let's get stuck in here. Silver helms on silver helms. Both backed up by archers. Let's move up here, lads. Let's move up. I want to see it. How are we doing on the walls? I'm loving this multi-section battle. This is really, really cool. Come on. You should be fighting Rana. If you're not fighting Rana, you're not helping. You can fire on them then. You know what? Stand there and fire on them. Fire at these sea guard. They die. Let's see it. Ho oh, ho! Took his head straight off. Destroy the traitors of Kalador! This is a protracted fight on the walls. It's so different. I've just, I've just been playing my uh, Carrot Cadron campaign, which is on the vanilla. And you switch over to SFO, and the long protracted fights you get, by comparison, are, are just so different, you know? Come on, dude. There we go, that's what we're meant to be doing. Wow, he just got hit by so many arrows that were meant for her. <laughs> there goes Yasmin. Come on, cavalry, let's uh, fight these cavalry. Fight their, their last silver helms. Their last charge of the Rohirrim. Break them! Kalador is ours! What an awesome battle that was. That was just... I really enjoyed that battle. I really enjoyed having all the towers. That was all. You rarely get opportunity to use all the siege equipment, right? That was just so much fun. How did our archers do? 26, 43. Not bad. Not bad. We have failed. Okay, high elf lives are valuable. Let's let them run away. <laughs> as long as they serve, it's fine. Oh wow, one of our units got completely wiped out. 
We won't be seeing them again. That's a shame. I wonder how our two lords got on. They were certainly in the thick of things, especially um, the the melee one. The archer, not so much. She didn't manage to get in too much. Fear the Nine and fifteen. One. Not bad, chaps. Take what is rightfully ours. Let's occupy that. Princess of Althran. Strange, it was the archer who got a level. <laughs> Alright, let's give her merchant lord. Interesting. A true Asur. Uh, definitely not this, but there's got to be some followers that would be useful to you. No, there's there's literally nothing. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Shield against the darkness. And Tyrion did very well. Still don't know what to dedicate to. Really, really am not sure. Amant. I'm stop using that. I'm told that's not a real word, but it's something I've used all my life. <laughs> Bloodline of Anarian. Now, I don't want to use that yet, but that is awesome. That is cool. Bloodline of Anarian. He can get all of these? These don't lock either? Wow, Tyrion just becomes an absolute monster, doesn't he? I think I'm going to want to do this one, the Sword Masters of Hoth, because I'm a big fan of Sword Masters of Hoth, and I'd like to fill this. I'd like to fill them up with them, um, or give him up, give him a bunch of them anyway. This is, I suppose, we can't fill them up with them, but uh, certainly give him plenty of them. Majesty, that would be good. Plus one public order. Oh, that that gets rid of. No. Then I'm not doing... Oh, goodness me. Minus 10% upkeep for all units faction-wide. Oh, that hurts. So we can either make him a beast. No, that's just not worth... That's so much better. Tyrion being a beast is not better than this. Not even, not even close. Ten percent cheaper, ten percent upkeep plus. Oh my god, that's just so good. And that's really not. I mean, it's it's awesome and it would be fun, but it's not that good. It, and and it's going to give us limited. It's the 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 bonus the benefit that will provide is not nearly as much. So we're going to go for this, and I'm going to do it now so that I can't change my mind. Am I? Yes! I did it. Okay, I did it. Leave. <laughs> triumphant. Being sensible instead of being fun. What have I become? Right, get rid of these people. They're costing me money. And they haven't done what I needed them to do, so... I remember I was trying to get them Merchant Lord, but whatever. I'd rather just have the gold now. They've probably cost me so much gold. <laughs> that investment did not pay off. But oh well, you gotta, you gotta try these things. Um... You must restore order. I am trying to restore order, believe me. So we have Vol's Anvil, that's excellent. We require public order. And good, it's already got a level 3 promenade, that's excellent. And it can build Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. Which we just so happen to have room for. Perfect. That couldn't have been better timing. <laughs> One unit of them. Perfect. The Asser are troubled. Indeed they are. Build the trade building there. Increase our income. Alariel the Ever Queen. Okay, Alariel is doing well. No, she's not doing well. She's just doing what she's supposed to be doing, which is reducing the uh, or increasing the public order, reduce, reducing the unrest. I'm still worried about Turivres, but I guess we can just untax it when the time comes. Plus four. That's fine. We're untaxing this province right now. Okay, so let's pass our turn there. We have Kalador. That was a really awesome battle. It's 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 just the reason why I love SFO so much. And Kothik, how are you doing, guys? With a, with re regard to confederation. 
Let's do this. We're going to become their friends and we'll get them to confederate in a bit. We shall fully become their friends and make them confederate. And we'll do it that way. So, Ulthawan is ours. I mean, Kalidor, they're... I mean, they're not, but they're effectively a puppet state. I, I mean, I'm sure people will disagree, but in general, they're, they're, yeah, they're a puppet state. They are. <laughs> they, they belong to me. They are my bitches. They're not going to do anything, you know? So that's good news. Uh, yeah, and the next thing we need to do is get Tyrion, the Shrine of the, uh, the Sword of Cain. That's just definitely next on the list. And then we're going to go and tear the uh, Dark Elves a new arsehole <laughs> with it. That's uh, that's what we're going to do with that once we have it. But first, it's going to be all about the economy. We've had a lot of combat. We've had a lot of uh, expansion. It's quick expansion, but our economy has really caught up with us. And although we're getting a lot of gold per turn, we still have so much to build. We need to stabilize our public order. We need to um, build as much economy buildings as possible. And we'll probably, by the end of it, be able to afford three to four armies. Um, but that's going to take at least 10 to 20 turns um, of economy building. With, with, To be honest, I'm quite happy to hold out just expand my economy and um, we'll probably get a couple of economy based episodes where, where not much will happen unless someone declares war on us I'm certainly not going to go to war with anyone unless uh, well unless it's just a quick quick and easy one just one of the smaller minor factions maybe Clark Caron is destroyed by the warriors of chaos there I think is that them? yeah Caron Caron's car. Is that what just got destroyed? I didn't notice. Either way, they're gone. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Ulthawan in all white. Isn't that beautiful? That's what we want to see. Wow, they got a lot more troops than I thought. <laughs> Jeez, they're still a, they're still an enemy to worry about. Uh, invocation of more hag. The right is not available before. Okay. Servants to chaos are destroyed. Oh, no, they don't have a lot. Tretch Craven Tail just killed them all. <laughs> well, there you go. See ya. <laughs> Uh, so that's where I'm going to leave that episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm definitely trying to keep them up. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave this series. So um, if you thought I was, then don't worry. I am going to finish this. It's just work sometimes catches up with me. But I'm doing my absolute best to to keep the, the episodes coming constantly. So I hope you're enjoying this. And if you are, please give us a, a like and a subscription. And I will see you in the next one.